spring is in the air, Noah. You know what that means? The flowers are blooming, the gators are bellering, and the turkeys are gone. That's right. And that's what brings us to today's episode of the guillotine turkey hunt. That's right. Noah here decided that he was going to up things just a little bit because at the ripe old age of 13, he's done killed like five or six birds with a shotgun. So, mm, figured we'd change things up a bit and use a bow this year. As you'll see on this episode, coming up next, as a matter of fact, uh, Noah, Noah decided he got on the internet. We'll give a little promo here. And he started looking and searching and he decided to pick out the Magnus Bullhead. He went with the 100 grain. But uh, as you're going to see in a minute, we had to make sure everything worked. I mean, that's what you do as an ethical hunter is you test your equipment, test the product, make sure it all works. So, let's shoot the buck. So we got our uh, turkey broadheads in. Got out here testing. We shot it at 5, shot it at 10, shot it at 15. We found out that at 20 yards, gets just a little janky. Go ahead. And uh, is wanting to drift right and left really bad. So, found out some valuable information. We're going to uh, we're going to stick to stick to 15 yards with the uh, turkey broadhead. And if for some reason he gets hung up, Noah's gonna switch to the old muzzy and go for a head shot anyway because uh, he uh, does pretty good. Well, let's see here what he did with the old muzzy at 20 yards. I would say, son, that you'd be able to kill one at 20 yards with the old muzzy. Yes, sir. And by the way, this is the second time he's done that this afternoon at 20 yards, so we're... Uh, Here, hold on, hold on. Let's just go all the way. So what you say, Noah? I think that we're going to have a fun time tomorrow if the turkey comes out. Ten four. What is your opinion thus far, though, of the Magnus Bullhead two and three quarter inch cutting diameter hundred grain? It's best at five yards, but ten and fifteen yards is the best. Twenty yards, it's just all like that. You don't want that. The so. roll of the dice at 20 yards, yeah, huh? Yes, sir. Yeah. It'd be a miracle if you shot one. Right. Basically. 10 4. Well, we will see what happens. Maybe we'll watch this go through an old turkey bird in the morning. Well, that turned out pretty good. I yeah. mean, we found out how far the bow can shoot accurately. And now that we know how far the bow can shoot, we can go set up our blind. We've decided that we're going to hunt on our property in the Big Bend of Florida, near the Florida Trail. So, let's get to it. Okay, so me and the trigger man are here. It's Wednesday before our youth turkey season. We set our old tore up, broke down blind up. We, uh, that's courtesy of no one because we haven't gotten sponsored with a new blind. But we decided to sit it here because there's the front field. Turkeys fly down up there, strut. And as you can see, there's just one lane road. And then here's going to the back field where turkeys fly down and strut. But they come right through here. So we've got a good chance of having a 10 yard shot for Noah man to take one's head off. Yes, sir. So what you think, Noah, you think it's gonna work? I hope so. <laughs> All 
Alright guys, so we've got my bow to where we know how far we can shoot with the bow. We've set up the tent, and now it's youth weekend, so let's go see if we can kill a turkey. So what happened this morning, Noah? I hate to say it, but only a f some hens came in and a jake, or two or three jakes came in. No golfers, so I guess they were moving on to another place. Well, sometimes things just don't turn out like you planned. Nope. We had two gobblers strutting on trail camera all week long we get there saturday morning and we don't hear a peep we don't see a thing well some hens and a couple of jakes they stayed out of range but really we were gobbler hunting so you know we stayed there to late but when the gobblers aren't there they just aren't there nope. but you know what next weekend is? Spring gobbler season. That's right, opening day. So let's go there now. Here we come. Say what? What did you just do? We've got to back that up and watch it again. Whatever you think. Heck yes. Oh my goodness. You did it. You did it. You did it. You did it. <laughs> I don't know if we're recording or not. I, 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 oh my gosh, I just killed a turkey with my bow. <laughs> oh my gosh. Let's go do it. The gobbler with my bow. Oh my gosh! Look at that! Check it out, dude! You put it in the on his head! Are you? Is it seeing it good? Yes, it can see all of it. Oh my gosh! He ain't the biggest gobbler but in the world, but he I was gobbling. I killed him with a bow. He was gobbling. He was strutting. Here, dude. Let me get you. 
have a full head, three inch, three blade guillotine broadhead is good on that turkey. That's actually the hundred, the hundred grain, two hundred fifty grain. Oh. I was hoping it would work because it did. Dude, you center punched him. I'm talking about you did a great job. And I, I did like what you said, just shoot at the head. Uh-huh. Because it was shooting a little bit And hard. you seen where it hit? And hit it just right. And it actually straighter than what it was doing. Flew. Yeah. Flew. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Congratulations. You did something your daddy's never done. Hey, give me a knuckle bump. <sighs> Bro, I did we're here this morning uh, down in Erie Dew, Florida on our beautiful piece of property that uh, has been in the family for only like five generations now. And uh, you know it's always special when you come home, right now? Yes, sir. You know, our great, my great grandpa, uh, my grandpa, my dad, our uncles, me and Noah, we've all hunted this land, walked this land, worked this land shot turkeys on this land and it's special you know in america people's trying to destroy traditions but traditions is what made america great and this morning noah a man aka the trigger man has got it done with the magnus bullhead 100 grain we went with 100 grain because his bow was light as you've seen in earlier videos but uh you know, sometimes it works and sometimes it don't. Last weekend it didn't work. Uh, the gobbler just wasn't around. This weekend he flew down in the back and uh, gobbled a couple of times and he was on his way. He strutted right up to the decoys and oh no man put the smack down on him. Yes, sir. I heard him. I heard him start strutting. Heard him drumming. Yes, sir. And I, that's when I pulled my bow because I knew he was about to come out. Talk a little bit louder. Uh. But, uh, yep. Um, you want to say anything about outdoors or hunting or adopt a cop or I mean, anything like that? Hard work and everything. Like, you have to work a lot with or shoot your bow a lot to be able to get good and everything. And, uh, you just have to wait. And, uh, like last weekend. It didn't work out because the gobbler wasn't here and we just kept on coming back and we finally came. That's right. So, patience. And you have to get up early, huh? Yes, sir. Was... So work and patience, dedication. Practice. Practice. You know, it all comes together into this. And this is why not everybody gets to do these things. You got to be somebody that's willing to do it. So anyway, I think you did it. I and think you I did do. it, did it well. Hey, I love you, buddy. I love you too. I guess uh, well I'm really happy because I just shot a turkey set off with my bow okay I've never done it before it's my first time it, it was nothing there was nothing like it wait 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 what I've never done it before so you're one up on me I am but anyways uh, I hope y'all like the video I did because I shot a turkey's head off. The turkey was good at my tummy and his. Uh, oh wait, and you shot a turkey's head off? Yes. Yeah. yeah. I just wanted to mention it again because it's like super awesome. It is. <laughs> well, I hope y'all like it. Yep. And remember, look, grab a kid, go outside, and do something. Thanks for watching till the end. 
Join us next time on another A-Man's Adventures. Peace. See ya.